figure out which kind of frogs they were in a pond without catching them. They didn't really think about that. Jaya? By listening to them? Okay, but how would you know without without touching them? So Jaya had a good idea of listening to them. Listening to them. Okay, I need your bubbles in your mouth. I need your hands still. So you're not making a lot of noise. If you wanted, well, that was weird. If you wanted to compare the frogs in two different ponds to find out which pond had more frogs, what could you do? How could you compare? Sophia? Read the book. Read the book. Read the book? Okay. I don't know how that would tell me how many frogs are in two different ponds, but all right. She's got an idea. I don't get it, but maybe I'll, I'll get it later. What? Hi, going to a pond and sliding two different frogs that were easy. Okay, Troy. Okay, all right, we're going to see. We're going to see what Doug says. In today's activity, you're going to figure out which species of frogs are found in a pond by listening to their calls. Scientists use words to help them remember different frog calls. You already know one example of this. Ribbit. Ribbit. That's the word scientists use to describe the call of the Pacific chorus frog. But here's another example. Listen to the American bullfrog. Some say that the bullfrog sounds like he's saying grum, grum, grum. You're going to listen to five different frogs. Each time you hear a frog call, you'll write down a couple of words to help you remember the sound. Then you'll use what you know to figure out which species of frogs live in a real pond, like this one. Just by listening, you'll know which species of frogs live there. We'll give it a try now. I'll show you how to get started, step by step. If you're in a class, form a group of four. You'll work together. If you're not in a okay. class, that's okay. You can work alone. So when you're done with this step, click the arrow on the right. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, you two and you two will kind of see how well you can communicate. If you can't, then you're just going to be in groups of two. Okay? Rudy, Valerie, Jaydi, and Sophia can be kind of in a, a group. Uh, Max, Samuel, you guys are going to have to be just a group of two, I think. Uh, Troy, Ashley, and Louise, you guys will be a group of three. Um, oh, Riley, join. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jaya, Amy, and Riley, group of three. Okay. All right. Louise is with Troy and Ashley. All right. So that, hold on, you guys aren't doing anything yet, so you need to turn around. Okay. Get these supplies. Oh, okay, we were going to do this on the computer. I was going to assign those. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, but I think, let's see, because, ah, it keeps fuzzing on me. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Ah, stop it. <laughs> I want you guys to, how about, oh, stop. I don't know how to make it like, okay, hold on. Let's see if I can. Okay. Oh, good. There we go. <laughs> and I didn't expect we'd actually get to this today. So and I already had y'all put your stuff away. So I'm going to modify. You can see I have wheels. It'd be nice. Okay. And I want you guys to just, we're going to just kind of do it with your fingers. Like maybe if you're actually in a group of four. One of you, you know, will be in charge of wood frog. One of you in um, charge of. Okay, so let's see. So these are the frogs you're thinking about. 
The wood frog. Whoops. I'm trying to write it all as one. The wolf. The wolf is the wood frog. Jay, get wood. that over your mouth. Frog. Spring pepper. Dang it, it, it didn't. It's all fuzzy, so you can't read it. Spring pepper or peeper. I, I don't know. I can't read it, so I can't. What's the next one, Mr. Scratch? American bullfrog. Okay, American bullfrog. Okay. Northern leopard frog. American toad. Okay, these are the frogs that you are looking for, that you're listening for. First, we're going to talk about what each one of them sounds like. And then on the next section, we'll be seeing, do we hear them in the two different lakes? What's the first lake? Oakwood Pond and then Sweet Lake. Okay. Oakwood Pond. Okay, excuse me. You guys are being very noisy. Wood frog. Pepper? Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Peeper. Is it peeper or pepper? It's two E's. P -E -E. Okay. It was like I just couldn't see it on there. American bullfrog. Northern leopard frog. Northern leopard frog. And American toad. Troy, turn around. Okay, so we'll just write the stuff up there. That way we don't have to worry about papers and we don't have to worry about you like getting on your Chromebook. Anything else? All right. Now you're going to learn what wood frogs sound like. Okay, and this is I'll play you a recording. Listen to it and then talk with your group about what words could describe the sound. Write down a few words to help you remember the sound. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the sound of wood frogs. <laughs> Think about what you can say with your group about what that sounds like. Talk with your group real quick. What does that sound like? Elizabeth. I know I had originally said they could work together as a four. I think it's too hard. You two just work together. You, two you work, work together. with Hayden. Yeah. I like, both said four, but they're like having to. It would work perfect if I didn't have like. Luis, get your foot down, please. Do not be knocking. Okay. Just wait. Just All right. Down. All together now. All together now. Okay. Miranda, what do you think? No, I think it's like a sheep sound. Like a sheep? Sheep. Okay. It's not a baby crocodile, it's a wood frog. But you're saying in your imagination it sounds like a baby crocodile. I've never heard of baby crocodile, so I wouldn't think that's a good comparison. I think it sounds like wood. Like what? Like wood. Wood? Uh huh. What? I've never heard wood make that sound, but all right. Uh, Rudy, what did you guys discuss? No, 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 no. You can't just say it sounds like another frog. You need to tell me what that was the wood frog. What other thing does it sound like? That's what we're comparing. How can we remember what it sounds like? Shout it. Chicken. Chicken. So, so kind of like clucking. I can totally see that. I can see that. Luis, what do you think it sounded like? Gargle? Okay, I, I can see a gargle. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Troy. Speak up. He's saying gobble. Gobble. So, turkey. Gobble. Gargle. Um, I kind of thought it a little bit. It reminded me a little bit of like the, uh, like when you hear people talking in cartoons and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. like like it's like a chattering cartoon talk. Like. All right, chattering. last one, Amy. Um, I think it sounds like a um, duck. <laughs> like a duck. Okay, so Very kind of. Chipmunk. Uh, like a chipmunk kind of too. All right. All right, now it's time for spring keepers. Listen to the sound, then talk with your group and write down a few words to help you remember the sound. Here's the sound of spring peepers. What? So the word that comes to mind right away, like a bird. Right? Does that kind of sound like a like a like a chirping bird? Yes. It is not that loud. Knock it off. All right. All right. Next is the sound of American bullfrogs. Listen to this, and then talk with your group and write down a few words to help you remember the sound. Here we go. <laughs> Anybody think of something different? Can you talk with your partners real quick? I kind of thought, <laughs> or like a, like a moose. <laughs> For the electric colors, they actually have the bullfrog. Really? Okay. I've heard about that. Okay, so like, Mr. Squatrina and I were talking, we think it sounds kind of like a moose, like a moose call. Well, you guys think, I think you were thinking moo, not moose. You were like moo, like a, like a cow, maybe. Okay, anybody think of something different? Max? Yeah. Um, I think it's like, what? Like, a boat sound? Like a what? A boat? Okay. Bowl sound? A boat. Oh, okay. You were, I, I thought maybe I misheard you the first time. Okay, Ashlyn. Like a horn. Okay. Like a horn. See him. Like a what? An actual bowl. Like a moon. Like a bowl. Um, okay. You know what? We've got two. We'll come back. Um, yeah. On that, because it is actually time for you guys to get up to go. We'll finish this tomorrow. We'll finish that tomorrow. So, Louise. Okay.